Hello Snoblets, today we'll be talking about Obquash, Mayan God of Horrific Decay. I'll be breaking down his ability kit to its entirety, all the bits, tricks, and things that make him tick. Obquash is a part of the mage class in Smite, so he deals magical damage and being part of that class gives him passive power as he levels up, maxing out at 40 power at level 20. Minions, servants, soldiers of the underworld. Rise and obey the call of Apuash! So with that, I think we'll jump right into his passive. Apuash's passive is called Hollow Ground. It allows Apuash to pick up his corpses on the ground made from his first and third ability, which allows him to have incredibly low cooldowns for his first and second ability, Undead Surge and Corpse Explosion, respectively. Reducing each of those cooldowns by two seconds, each time he picks up a corpse, along with reducing cooldowns, it provides him a large amount of sustain, providing him a 5% heal of his maximum health and a 3% of his maximum mana each time he picks up a corpse. Aplosh can have a total of 6 corpses on the ground at a time. These corpses can be auto-attacked and destroyed by an enemy god by auto-attacking them two times. Now on Aplosh's first ability, which is called Undead Surge. Aplosh launches forward two corpses that stop on the first thing hit, either god, minion, or wall, and makes a small explosion, dealing damage. Enemies hit by the corpses are slowed and have their healing reduced. Two corpses are left behind on the ground after the explosion. The damage maxes out at 170 base damage, plus 35% of your magical a max slow of 40% for 2 seconds, and a healing reduction of 40% for 5 seconds. This ability is easy to throw out at any time for either damage or just because. But for it not to be on cooldown is a crime, as whenever you pick up the corpses it heals you, replenishes your mana, and it makes your cooldown of the ability itself shorter by a total of 4 seconds if you pick up both corpses. Die for your master! Aplosh's second ability is called Corpse Explosion. Aplosh targets an area on the ground and makes an explosion that deals damage and explodes corpses in its radius, each corpse making their own explosions, all of these explosions dealing damage. The max damage of the initial explosion does 100 base damage plus 20% of your magical power, and the max damage of each corpse that explodes does 100. 55 base damage, plus 25% of your magical power. You only want to use this ability on corpses that you know you won't be able to pick up. Or, don't feel bad using it to simply poke without any corpses. Aplosh's third ability is called Fleeting Breath. Aplosh throws a charmed corpse that applies a miasma in a small area where it lands dealing damage every 4 seconds to those hit. After those 4 seconds, if an enemy is healed by an ability, they take extra damage and stun the target. The max damage of every tick does 70 base damage plus 20% of your magical power, and a max duration of 4 seconds. If they are healed, they take a max damage of 250 base damage plus 50% of your magical power and a stun duration of one and a half seconds. This ability is nice to throw out at enemies, as you can specifically choose where it lands. It is much easier to hit a specific enemy than they can't heal while you fight them, or they take even more damage when they do heal. Rise, my minions! Serve your master once more! Aplosh's fourth and final ability is his ultimate. It is called Empty the Crypts. Aplosh calls an army of race, having each one run across the large area, dealing damage and stopping on the first target hit and reducing healing, as well as doing damage. This army continues to send wraiths for a total of seven seconds. The max of a single wraith is 80 base damage plus 10% of your magical power, and each wraith has a healing reduction 
of 20% that can stack up to three times, and this reduction lasts for six seconds. Death is only the beginning. Oh. That was Opwash's entire kit, so now I'll get into some useful tips to help you excel at Opwash, as well as how you should be playing Opwash in general to maximize his usefulness. Would you like to be my servant? It comes with great benefits. Opwash's strongest point is early to mid game, where he starts to get all of his abilities as he has a good amount of base damage from his abilities, and none of his abilities scale very well with power compared to other mages, giving him more early pressure than most mages. And the very quick ability to get uh, super short cooldowns on your one, you're able to spam it and wear down your opponent in the early to mid game before anybody has any chance to match your level of cooldown. As in that laning phase, nobody will be able to match that cooldown. I will offer you a choice. Do you want an empty life? Or a meaningful death. Opwash is a brawling mage. As such, you want to brawl with your opponent as you are in your strong point. You will outsustain whatever damage they do to you by picking up your corpses. Even if you get low, you can retreat to your tower or close to the wave so you can at least still get XP and heal off of your corpses as you just throw out your one. The most important thing is ticking down your opponent with your abilities. You need to try to push them away from the wave as you don't have a formal wave clear ability you need to be able to out pressure them and push your enemy so they can't clear the wave zoning them away from it if you can doing enough damage so that they're scared to come to the wave themselves your best tools in your arsenal to do this is your second and third ability to poke your enemy from a distance and if they get closer to the wave you can use your one if they get in that close range, you can use your one to barrage them with multiple sets of corpses as the cooldown is incredibly low. And when you pick up all of these corpses, you're able to out-sustain your opponent even though you're fighting them. Being able to out-sustain your opponent in lane leads you into teamfights. Surely. You did not think you could win. During a team fight, to get the most out of a boss, you want to use his burst and anti mechanics as much as you can. Getting into close range and brawling with a, this god would be dangerous, with so many other people around in a team fight. You may get singled out. And if you're caught alone, it's dangerous as a boss. You have no jumps or leaps to get away quickly. So in danger, Opwash can use his ultimate to try to zone an area, making it dangerous for the enemy to continue to chase him, giving him the possibility of time to flee to his enemy or safety. But it is much better for Opwash to simply stay safe, doing bursts of damage from a distance with your abilities, not worrying about picking back up your corpses, rather you want to apply anti-heal to specific targets that your team may be focusing on, making it harder for them to sustain while your team simply just kills them. Well, you have a strange scent. You smell too alive. Because of how power scales with magical autos, Auto attacks aren't that high of damage, as for magical characters, they only scale by 20% of your magical power. To explain what an auto attack cancel is, one auto attacking their specific phases to an auto attack. Opwash has a normal action phase where the projectile comes out from the character, and a long recovery phase to prepare for the next auto attack. Aplash doesn't have anything inside of his kit that would benefit from auto attack cancelling, and even though it would provide him more theoretical damage, I don't think it's worth the smaller amount of movement speed you would obtain from auto attacking. 
as it slows your movement by 50% of your movement speed since it is a ranged auto attack. So it is better to stay simply on the move than to get that tiny bit of extra damage out. Who needs friends when I can raise my own? So to look at what a full rotation of what your abilities can look like is this. We'll start off when you're brawling. So, one, three, and then pick up all of your corpses for cooldown. And then one. When you're in a team fight, it may rather look like this. One, then two, and then three. Do zombies like potions? Apwash is a very front-loaded god with a lot to learn and understand. If you dwell to the ninth hell and choose to learn Apwash, may your enemies be horrified by your decay. As you raise those that have fallen to instead fight for you, I wish you luck on the battlefield, so you may take your rightful place among the gods and become the best god you can be.